and that's the way you remove a cam gear. Worked great. Little inspection now. No cracks or breaks or anything. very little rust but we'll give it to Duncan through the uh, electrolysis tank you know there won't be no rust then good clean mating surface there So once you get it off, it's no problem then. But with the with the parts disassembled there, I'll take a file to that. I'll take a file to every piece on the engine. Uh, we'll knock down any birds, but we'll get all this in the uh, electrolysis tank. That does have a little wire on it right there. I can see it. Uh, We'll see what the uh, rest of the engine looks like. We might replace that. Uh, this, these two parts looks great. Well, you know, I had to do it. That cast iron rough like that wasn't enough to hold that magnet. So I propped it up with that file right there. It's all well and secure as long as nothing don't get out of You know what I'm saying? But in order to check this flywheel, now that right there, that's that Grizzly Manager Special for 19 bucks, I think it was. With a coupon, it was 15. I think time I got it, it was 14. It's a Grizzly dial indicator. Got to set up our on this crankcase to check this crankshaft. <coughs> For trueness, got the keyway right there in the top, the slot. And I put some grease, and I got the bearings in there, and I got the pins and everything, so that's where that's going to be at. So, and, 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 and as you can see, the flywheel will ride right in this area right here. I put a little lube or cut around there. But uh, we got that dial indicator set on zero. And uh, perspective all taken in consideration, I'm looking at it like this. So let's go around through there and see what we've got. Okay, right there we've got one, two, three, 
uh, three and a half thousand. I'm not going to yeah, let it go to Keyway. Um, so we'll go all the way back to zero and readjust. Let's do it again. Okay, that's two thousandths on the side of zero. So, Grizzly Tools. That was a manager special right there, magnetic base. You know what I mean? It's tricky to use. If I had a Nioga, you know, if I had one of them Nioga holders, I'd be using it. You know what I mean? But I've got a Grizzly. So, going with the Grizzly, dial indicator there. I've got it set on zero. It's going to be some camera angle here, difference between me and you. But looking at it like this, taking in consideration straight on, I'm going to turn the crankshaft, not not passing the, the key slot there from one side to the other and see what the outage is. And, and I put a little loop of cut there, not much. Probably should put a little more. But uh, enough. So to rotate the, 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 the crankshaft, and, and I'm, on, I'm on zero up there, and to come all the way around, all the way around, all the way. I'm going to hold my finger down there so it don't go past. Okay, at the back side on the other side of the keyway, um, well, to make it easy, let's start over there. Now you can see it coming all the way around. It went minus two thousandths. And then it came back this way, two thousandths. Around two to the side of key slot. So it's about one thousandths. No, it's about that's about right. So it's four thousandths. And let's go with four thousandths that this shaft is out around. Uh, taking in consideration for some abuse and 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 wire and what it is that's very good uh, let's with check some, the other side uh, in the crankshaft right there with some uh, well it's rust damage i'm sure but it has been repaired in the past they just filed off the hard part, high parts and left the low parts so there is some divots right there which don't hurt anything in what they are. They just look bad. But they're underneath the flywheel hub, so you don't see them. But it plays havoc with the dial indicator there when you go across it. And that's that, that's that Grizzly Tools uh, manager special, or 19 bucks and something, I think, on sale. And uh, President's uh, sale, I think, what they have. Uh, you know, it works okay, but if I had a Nioga, you know, I'd have it out here hooked up using it, you know. It was a tricky setup here. But, uh, the point of the whole operation is to see if this crankshaft is straight. And, and this is where the flywheel rides right here. This is the outer part. So, that's where I choose. And I'm going to hold my finger around. I don't go, I don't want to go in that keyway groove so i'm just going to go from here to there and see what it is and we're just going by a number no zero we're on 80 so it went two thousandths on that side coming back to 80 and it comes across that divot now back up on the good metal and it's back to 80 so you know you can do whatever you want to with that crankshaft, but in in real life, it's only about two thousandths out of straight on this side. So, you know, I'm okay with that.